Hello everybody. Welcome back to Let's Play Dragon Age Origins. Last time we left off, we found the location of Brother Gen of TV in our hunt for these blasted ashes of Andraste. Because we need to save the Isle of Redcliffe. So without further ado, we'll press on and try and get there. This is apparently the village of something rather. What's it called? Haven. Safe Haven indeed. What are you doing in Haven? There's nothing for you here. Uh, very well, excuse me. I have business here, actually. No, you do not. I would have been informed if someone was expecting a visitor. Uh, I think we are off getting off onto the wrong foot here. Is there a Brother Jenna TV here? Who? Perhaps revered Father Eirik will know of whom you speak. Unfortunately, he's ministering to the villagers at the moment and cannot be disturbed. Revered father? I've never heard of this. It's always been thus in Haven. We do not question tradition. Well, I would like to explore Haven for a while, if you wouldn't mind. We do not appreciate lowlanders looking about our home as though it were some sort of zoo. Oh, sake, this man is doing my nut. Very well, excuse me. You may trade for supplies at the shop if you wish. Then I suggest you and your companions leave. Did it just get a lot colder, or is it just me? <laughs> no. They are hiding something. Tis obvious, is it not? Yes, thank you, Sherlock Holmes. I did notice that myself. Anyway, let's quickly take a look around here before we're turfed out of this place. It's that... Yeah, um. good. Of course. Just like you wanted. This altar appears to have been used recently. A pool of blood remains, running over the sides in dark rivulets. I was not expecting to find something so unsettling. Used for food preparation, perhaps? I doubt it. Does meat bleed that much? I'm just trying to be optimistic. The other explanation is slightly more disturbing. That is human blood. Uh, and how exactly do you know that? I just do. I also know that no one can lose that much blood and live. Oh dear. That's not good, is it? Hmm. Somehow, I'm not liking the look of this place. Come, come, Bonnie Lynn. Tell us, tell us where you've been. Were you up? Were you down? Chasing rabbits around the town. Excuse me? Who are you? You shouldn't be here. And who are you, exactly? I asked you first. Oh, it's uh, okay then. I'm Halston. Lowlanders don't belong here. Oh, short and sweet. Lovely. Such an adoring child. Hmm. This place is slightly giving me the heebie-jeebies. Do not truly think I look as my mother does, do you? Have you really been thinking about that all this time? I am simply curious. And not insecure in the slightest, I'm sure. I think I look nothing like her. <laughs> I don't know. Give it a few hundred years and it'll be a spot-on match. I said that I look nothing like her. All right, got it. <laughs> totally different. I see that now. <laughs> yes. Oh, I love their banter. What now? Come, let's keep our eyes peeled. There is more to this place than meets the eye. You see, he said there was a shop round here, did he not? Oh. Death of a Templar. It actually sounds like a good read, actually. If I had time to sit on my laurels and read by the campfire, I might actually do that, but hey, pressing issues, you know. 
Just a shot? Oh, well, I'm sure we'll find it somewhere along the lines. Here, isn't it? What's down here? Oh, no, wrong way. So, what do we have here? For the shop? On down here? Nothing. Good. Well, we'll speak with this villager first. Hello, dear. We have nothing you'd want. Please go. Oh, this is such a warm place. Service with a smile. I bet the shopkeeper will be welcoming us with open arms to do trade. Hello? Who are you? You're not from Haven. Uh, okay. <laughs> Can you tell me about this place? How would you describe the place you know only as home? Have you seen a man called Brother Genitivi? No, I've never heard that name. Oh well. I suppose this is a shop, so anything to trade? I don't have much, but I suppose you can take a look. Perfectly frank with you, he's been the least hostile of the whole lot of them. Right, uh, get rid of some crap. Get rid of that. Uh, level six, level five. Get rid of that. Keep them. Get rid of uh, the tier five and tier six. Keep them as well, then. And keep that. Keep them. Keeping them. Oh, some gifts to give out, actually. Sell that, that, and keep them. Do you have any gifts? No? Okay, nothing there really of use. Fine. Well, we. What are you doing? That's private! I'll. What do you mean? What are you hiding? I don't see how that is any of your concern. Well, I'm making it my concern. I think there's something fishy going on round here, and I'm going to take a look. No, you, you have no right. Shut up! Stupid man! Right. First of all, we'll rob him blind. Sorry. Okay, well, let's have a look here, shall we? I don't know what I'm going to find here, because I didn't do this in my first playthrough, so actually it will be quite a shocking revelation to me. What? There's nothing here? <gasps> What's this? The armor and clothing left on this dismembered man indicate... Indicate what? That he was from Redcliffe, one of Al Eamon's knights. Oh my god. Your wish? What's next? Something is not right. Finished. Maybe these people are desperate. Do this. Do that. Desperate to keep the secret of the urn of ashes? And if that's one of the knights I fear for Brother Genitivi's life, I think we need to press on to the church. I see enemies ahead! Oh my god! I'll get up. Oh! Oh my god! You should while you can! Come on! I knew there was something wrong with this place! Come on! Up towards the church! You son of a gun! You think your pathetic fists will pierce this armor? Stupid child! Keep going! 
Get into this godforsaken chant I dread to think what I'm gonna find on the altar in here. We are blessed beyond measure. We are chosen by the holy and beloved to be her guardians. This sacred duty is given to us alone. Rejoice, my brethren, and prepare your hearts to receive her. Lift up your voices and despair not, for she will raise her faithful servants to glory when her... Don't mind me. Just coming through. Ah, welcome. I heard we had a visitor wandering about the village. I trust you've enjoyed your time in Haven. Oh, Sofa. I've had a whale of a time. <laughs> okay, enough of your small talk. We're well past pretending this village is normal. Perhaps. But staying hidden means staying protected, and we must protect Haven and our charges at all costs. We don't owe you any explanations for our actions. We have a sacred duty. Failure to protect her would be a greater sin. All will be forgiven. Okay. Look out below! Revered father, my foot! Ah! Let's me take a wee peeky here. I'll get out. Medallion, what's this? What is it hold? Brick wall, that's secret entrance. Just like you wanted. How handy! Brother to the TV! Who are you? They... They've sent you to finish it. Yo... You're not one of them, thank the Maker. Are you alright? What do you think? Weeks of scant food and water, the torture. Oh, I've never felt better. Oh, really? <laughs> I wouldn't be this sarcastic if I needed help. So you won't help an old man just because he's a little abrasive, I see. Of course not. <sighs> the leg's not doing so well, and I can't feel my foot. Morrigan, can you do something for this man? The leg is wounded, but that will heal in time. The foot may have to come off. Uh, what? I thought you might say that. But if the foot goes, it goes. There are more important things than an old man's feet. I don't have time to rest now. I'm so close. The urn is just up that mountain. Really? And how do you know that? My research led me to Haven, and I have heard the villagers talking. I know the urn is here. Haven lies in the shadow of the mountain that holds the urn. There is an old temple there built to protect it. The door is always locked, but I know what that key is. Ivric wears a medallion that opens the temple door. I've seen what he does with it. You mean this? Yes, that is your key. Take me to the mountainside and I will show you. Are you sure you can make the journey? I mean, you have a busted leg and a foot that's about to fall off, apparently. It is not that far, and will you let me lean on you? For the urn, any pain is worth enduring. Oh, that's a good job. You're quite thin, isn't it? And not uh, weighing much. Fine, let's leave now, shall we? Ah, oh, good. Help me up here. Uh, uh, I'll try not to slow us down. Oh, 
Okay. Take it, we're almost in, are we? Work your magic, Professor. Here we Jimmy. are. Give me the medallion, and let's see if I remember. Yes, yes, you see, it, it can be manipulated, just like this. And there, a key to open the way. Now what? Now, where does this go? Oh! Good job! Oh, what I would give to have seen this hall in all its splendor, as it was meant to be. Still, sweep away the ice and the snow, and traces of beauty remain. Hmm. Well, we can't afford to linger. Our Lehman's fading fast. I'm sorry, what? Uh, I was a little distracted, I apologize. These carvings were created just after Andraste's death, and they may reveal things about her life that we do not yet know. I think I need more time to study these statues and carvings. Well, I suppose that might keep you out of trouble for a bit. Press on and do what you must, but we have to delve deeper for this urn. I could not keep up with you with my injuries. I should be safe. I don't think there are any villagers here. Go, and I will be all right. Perhaps my destiny was only to lead you to the urn. And maybe so. Well, thank you. You've been a great help. Ah, it's my job. Just be careful, that's all I ask. The temple is perilous. I'll be right here if you need me. Yes, now I've I faced many tonight. perils, believe me. Yes, mere decrepit temple covered in ice and snow shall be no bother. I'm sure of it. <laughs>